down, go through there. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, she starts turning. Hi there, Anton here from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. Um, in this video, we're going to have uh, some more fun with the ladybug. In the last video, I showed you how to program it with keyframes and make it walk and turn. In this video, we're going to uh, go one step further and use the distance sensor here to um, detect walls and uh, keep a certain uh, distance uh, from the wall. So keep watching if you want to learn how to do all of this in uh, Python. In the last video, we ended up with this program. I will put a download link in. There is a download link in the card um, um, up right here and there is a download link um, also in the description to start with this uh, program and I'll also uh, put a download link for the finished program. Um, in the last uh, video we uh, uh, defined keyframes for the outer legs and the middle legs and then the motors and then using different combinations of motor functions we could um, make it turn. Um, there was actually a turn right. Change that. Uh, turn right and um, uh, we uh, also made it run um, forward first and then reverse timer and made it run backward um, so depending here on the animation we wish so this time we are going to um, make um, first we're going to have some fun here with the timer because the timer cannot only um, reverse it can also change the rate so we will use that to um, make sure the ladybug keeps a certain distance from the wall the first thing we should do is probably write a little um, routine that um, or a little function that gives us the um, the distance on the distance sensor so let's um, make a little function here and call it distance and it will uh, return a number um, that is this uh, value here um, 43 so um, dist is um, hub dot port dot c dot get um, this function will get the value of whatever um, device or oh, actually I should put a device here um, of whatever device is plugged into a port C um, it's an ultrasonic sensor but it also returns a list and we're not interested in a list but we act we're actually interested in the value the first value in that list so um, in Python you can use this to uh, retrieve the first value in a list this will be our uh, distance and um, the problem also is that when the there is no echo on the ultrasonic sensor this one could return none and if you compare none to a, um, a number uh, python crashes so we have to make sure that it actually returns a distance so if um, it is not none if it exists then we just return it and that's that with the function and if there is nothing if it's none if it didn't read we will return um i don't know um uh, 200 so that's quite a lot and um so it it will be like infinite it's more or less infinite uh, distance so once we have this function we can easily read the distance and then um, here we can um, change our loop to um, forever so while true and we are going to of course update the motors according to time however we are going to bend time um, according to the distance from the wall so um let's say our desired uh distance actually should should define this only once our desired distance from the wall is uh i want i want uh, the ladybug to be at 15 centimeter and um 
So we are going to um, speed up or slow down time depending on our desired distance. If we are exactly at the desired distance, we are going to set the time. Uh, we are going to freeze time. So set the, the, the rate to zero. Um, if we are um, uh, further away, then we are going to run time forward. So the ladybug will wa walk forward. If we are too close, we will reverse time. So um, here we can simply set timer dot rate. So that's um, the rate at which time advances. Uh, we are going to set it to um, um, distance. Right, so we are going to read our distance and subtract 15 from that. Now, this will give us a number that at least freezes or at least uh, uh, subtracts our desired distance. So this will freeze time because uh, wh when the distance is exactly 15 and you subtract 15 to that and the rate at which which time goes um, goes to zero this will freeze time and um, uh, but now we should also make run time uh, forward when we are too far away so let's think this through if distance is 20 this and subtract 15 from that that will be a positive number so the the rate at which time flows will be five so that's five per second uh, or uh, that's pretty low five ticks per second so i think i can multiply this by about 100 so this will be about 500 ticks per second if we are five centimeters short if we are 10 centimeters short it will be about 100 ticks per second that's a normal rate and so on and so on so Time will slow down as we are nearing our target and um, speed up when we are going away. Let's see if this mechanism here, if this code uh, will work on our ladybug and it will keep a certain distance from, um, let's use the, the back side here of our spectators. Switch over, let's run this and switch over to the model okay we're moving forward crawling very slowly getting close i think the 100 was a bit too little let's see if it starts moving backward okay it nicely retreats and if i increase the distance again it starts crawling forward so um, what's happening here is really uh, time bending. Let's uh, tune the parameters a bit and speed this up. Um, let's actually make this one move thrice. So let's first start twice as fast. Oops, yeah, this is a problem with the model. Um, if this um, motor here doesn't end at zero and then it starts tries to reset to the uh, closest in uh, the closest possible position it could be that it goes through an impossible position and um, destroys itself so we have to make sure that the model uh, resets all motors except the middle one so the middle one just shouldn't be reset um, let's program this um here i added this uh, at the reset button i added the motors to reset to be only one one and uh, the a a and not b let's um see if this uh, works okay what we have here is a ladybug that tries to stay uh, 15 centimeter behind this um, um these uh, spectators if i give her more plays she will start to crawl forward until um 
she exactly sees these uh, uh, spectators at 15 centimeters. There is one problem, sometimes you see these plastic movements and that is when the sensor reads uh, 2 meters or returns a failed reading. So um, we can actually avoid this by um, making sure that the distance is our desired distance. So let's remove this. So um, let's make sure that we return our desired distance when there is no reading. So this makes sure that time freezes if you return the uh, desired distance. And let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, our program is uh, running. Um, so you can see that the ladybug um, backs off when she, when she's too close and moves forward when uh, there is enough distance and here just stops when we have exactly reach, uh, reached 15 centimeters of distance. Uh, so this is a nice example of uh, how to bend uh, time. This uh, would actually have been very difficult without bending time and having to control every motor position um, uh, and relate that to the distance sensor. Um, now let's stop this program. From here uh, we can do one more once we have a um, um, a distance uh, function here should go over to uh, spike once we have a distance function here we can also make a wall follower um, so that's actually pretty simple from now on um, let's change this back to two meters so um, let's leave the the rate constant however um, what we want to do is, um, as long as the distance is, say, um, bigger than, larger than 20 centimeters, so while the distance is above 20 centimeters, we just run forward, and um, when that's not the case anymore, um, we can, um, uh, r like, turn uh, the ladybug in a certain direction for a certain time and then run her forward again and this will effectively create a um, wall follower so let's copy all of this all of that now okay so we we are running while uh, the distance is more than 20 centimeters once uh, we drop below that we are going to um, run uh, while timer.time is um, let's turn for five seconds, would that be enough? And um, then stop again and then go back here. So probably we will have to put all of this into a big loop. And in Python we can just indent this. So now it will swap between walking forward and turning. Of course, we have to um, make sure that we uh, use the, the turn right functions and not the regular walk functions if we want to turn. And I think this will create a wall follower for us. Let's see if we made any programming mistakes here. Yes, we did. Let's move over. Uh, open the tray here. Unsupported. Greater than. Um, it's in line 358. 358. Oh! Uh, this, I said distance, but actually I should have used the brackets. Because distance is just the um, method itself. And if I add brackets, uh, like here, it executes the distance and returns the value here. So I forgot the brackets, that's why it gave this um, a strange uh, error notion.
Write it again. Oh, the ladybug is turning right away. Apparently, the distance reading was uh, low when we started. Okay. Yes. So here you can see that um, it detected the uh, spectators and uh, turns. And now it walks forward again uh, until I put my hand in front and the ladybug starts uh, turning. Yeah, I want you to turn a bit more. So um, here with uh, a simple keyframe animation, two simple keyframe animation, we can combine that in a big loop with a distance sensor and create very interactive robots here. So uh, now the ladybug is uh, walking around the arena here and trying to find a way out and she sees the spectators all around her and uh, oh no, not that direction, oh maybe a little bit that direction until uh, she sees more spectators um, oh no, can't go through there, turn, 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 yeah, she starts turning okay um, so this, uh, let's stop this program this ends um, the last uh, tutorial, tutorial here with uh, Python for the ladybug I hope you saw the power of uh, animating with keyframes. So that was a very nice starting point here um, to do fun stuff with the distance sensor. So you can bend time to keep a certain distance and you can also use the distance sensor to switch between animations. So the walking animations and the turning animation, we, we can alternate that based on the reading of this sensor and put it all into a big uh, loop. I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and uh, hope to see you again next time. Mm -hmm.